I did at least somewhat smartly separate the ones that are a little bit more of value. Which is those hollows. The first edition is yeah, really Oh, dude, that's a really good card. Oh, sick. For 15? What'd you do? Mm, it's, it's mint. I don't think I've Pokemon it. marbles? Oh, that good. Are they? Yep, I've just sold them before. That were really good. Mm, let's split them. Okay. If you're happy with that. Do you say yes in 50%? No, no, no. Oh, this? Yeah. <laughs> Pokedex. So, so high priced. Wow. Is it? They usually have the second day. Wait, wait, That'd be good. Temporary tattoos over the years. Wow, these are right. What do you reckon a Pokedex is worth? There you go. Hold discount over time. Oh, these are cool. What's up down there? Well, negotiate if you can't swing it. I don't know if they're going to negotiate. You just tell me you love negotiating, Kevin. Depends on the stuff. Depends on the stuff. You get one thing. Stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a few things, and then we can talk about it. Kev, you said get a few things, and then we can talk. That's what he said. Oh, that Nintendo 64 case is cool. Hey, you guys missed out. I had my GameCube and Nintendo 64. Oh, yeah? Really? Yeah. That would have gone quick. All the Game Boys. Oh, man. Yeah, that's cool. 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 Yeah,
in the morning? No. Just didn't bring just, any of it. It was just one of those things that, you know, it's like, I don't really know how to price those, to be honest. I mean, and I'm only selling them as a lot. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not doing them individually. What, what does it consist of, do you know? Is it, uh, yeah, yeah, so, you know, I, I do have some of, you know, like the, the starters, so the, the mm. evolved version, so the Charizard, Bulbasaurs, mm. and, and, and uh, Blastoise, or what is that, Venusaur, I guess is that, yeah. that version. And uh, got a few of the Charizards, but and those I have kind of on the first two pages, and okay. the rest of it is more of the common ones. Yeah, from the back end. From the back end, yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, like I like Pikachu, so I have a million different variations of Pika, yeah. Pikachu. Yeah, nice. Um, but I honestly have to really look at it. But there's there are some that if you went and got them graded, graded yeah, then there's potential for value there. I'm just not going to be the guy to do it. Nah, it's a process. Yeah, it takes yeah. a long time for grading too. Yeah, and yeah. especially I heard during the pandemic, it could take yeah. six months. You're 100 percent in. It takes six months. Yeah, for a few I'm dollars good. extra. Yeah, I'm like I'm good. 100. If someone wants to do it, you can do it. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, happy if you make money. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah, yeah, no, that's awesome. Yeah, I, I used to have them. I actually was at a garage sale back when I was a kid. Yeah. And I had my collection. I had the double ups. Double ups were for sale. Oh, nice. Dad sold my binder. Oh, no. 10 bucks. Oh, no. He was like, ah, oh, that's the kids with doubles. 10 bucks. Oh, no. Just walks out with this complete set of 96 Pokemon. Oh, no. Yeah, I, I was 10 years old. I cried for like two weeks. Of course. Yeah. It was shattering. That's dramatic. And ever since, I'm always looking for Pokemon cards again to try yeah, yeah. and not complete the collection again. Yeah. Just kind of get a little piece of it back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, well, I mean, I got enough of them in there that it's probably pretty close. It'd be cool, man. Yeah. It'd be cool to look at. Yeah. It's definitely the sort of stuff I'm looking for. But. Yeah, totally. All right, guys. It is the next day, Sunday morning, and it's, what, 8.23? This estate sale kicks off again at 9 a.m., but after those conversations yesterday with that guy, um, those Pokemon cards should now be over at this place. So, look, I don't, I don't know my Pokemon cards too well, but from the sounds of it and from the quality of the 1996 sort of Pokemon stuff that he had yesterday, I kind of want to see these cards, and I... I want to be the first one in because I know they're going to get snapped up today. Um, so by being here nice and early, 30 minutes before it opens, I'm hoping I'm the first one in uh, to have a look at these cards and at least have a crack at negotiations. Morning, mate. How you doing? How you doing? Alright, man. How'd you go? Was it just the cards? Uh, well, I just brought in some uh, some other stuff too. But oh, you did? Yeah, we got uh, lots of Basketball, this oh. is just uh, other things. I got some Yu-Gi-Oh's and that's all the Pokemon and then Digimon. And Digimon as well, yeah, cool. Yeah, just got all those. This is all yours, hey? Yeah. You sad to see it go? No. <laughs> no. Guess it was sort of the point, eh? Yeah, I mean, it's it's honestly just been sitting in a closet for so long. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, it was just kind of one of those things I'm like, if someone else can get some enjoyment out of it, then... I hear you. Yeah, you made the trip to me out. Look at you. I got tea time. I gotta be quick. <laughs> so, Yu-Gi-Oh! Here. He chases Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu -Oh Pokemon. Yeah, he he talked to me yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he, he talked to me too, eh? Hey? Yeah. Yeah. He convinced me. You tried to convince you? Yeah. What do you got? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, wait, there might be another. Uh... You're going Pokemon? Oh, okay. Going uh, pretty much everything, I think. Yeah, from the looks of it. Yeah. Um. So then Pokemon, like I said, I was a stupid kid, but I did at least somewhat smartly separate the ones that are a little bit more of value. Okay. Um, but you know, a lot of the other ones, you know, there's maybe some potential of some of the like, ones that are slotted in there, but so these you were saying are slightly better, and so then you those got... are probably slightly better in terms of the Pokemon, yeah. Um, but, you know, but I went through this years and years ago, and this is just one, <laughs> yeah, one, one little bundle, one little bundle, and this whole bag is you know stacked with them some are japanese some are not mm -hmm. um but realistically you know like i separated out my pikachus because mm -hmm. you know <laughs> it's pikachu it's pikachu you gotta yeah. you gotta do that but yeah those are the more valuables but with any of the cards yeah um, they're all sold as a set yeah i'm okay. not parsing anything out no just take the um, lot type thing yeah it's yeah. just like it'll be maybe slightly more just because there are other cards but Mm. realistically all the values in a handful in the, of in the bundle of it yeah that's completely fair you guys want them, but those are just the empty packs of the um, oh from back in the day yeah yeah so that's what, cool. what i actually opened to get the pokemon cards 
Yeah, well. Oh, yeah, those are, those are cool, actually. Aren't they? Yeah. Okay, like a long shot. That's your favorite number. <laughs> 140 and I'll keep looking. 140 and I'll keep looking. It's not going to be 140. So, it's, it's, it's not. I got, I got guys that are sellers that are looking at more. Right, where, where are you at? <laughs> there's, no, there's no whispers. And I'm just saying, I'm not, I'm not what, do you at? what do you have? What do you have? What do you have? Well above that. I mean, for, for where I'm, where I'm going to be comfortable without with the, the bit that I have looked at, which is just realistically a handful of cards, um, just that I can't call it like four. So, and that's, you know, that's selling about it. You know, so that's it's different. And that's ungraded, that's all those things. So it's a complete, it's a complete and utter gamble that right. you find one that's worth more than that, it's a complete and utter gamble. It's, it's the mystery and the fun of it, huh? Yeah. yeah. And, Like, okay, cool. Yeah. There's, there's lots of 20s, 30s on all of this, really. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's the it's the most efficient way. I don't know about smartest, but it's the well, most you, way. you could you could take you could take the rest of the year to sell yeah. them all off individually, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Um. And if I wanted to do that, I would have. Yeah, right? absolutely. And it's just kind of like, God, this is gonna take forever. Yeah. <laughs> like, I hear. You. Yeah, so like even those, like these news, mm. like even those, so I think were 15, 20 bucks a piece. 15, 20 each. And now it's like, yeah, yeah. And I, and I looked at it, I was like, oh, I wasn't expecting that. I know they're not as exciting, but there is also ornaments. <laughs> those are also worth quite a bit, honestly. Are they? <laughs> yeah, crazy. Because they're the, they're the OGs. Yeah, wow. You know, online, each of them is probably 15, 20 bucks. It's wild. <laughs> it is wild, hey? Yeah. All the Japanese. Yeah, those ones I kind of found after the fact, funny enough. Right. So they've got the Game Boy Color, and then there's the Game Boy Games. Those, that's in this slot. 64 games that they did. Would you would you break up the Game Boy from the Nintendo 64, or are you just trying to get rid of all gaming? Um, I mean, truthfully, I'm trying to get rid of all of it. But if if there's a, a solid breakup that you're still trying to like take all of one, I'd all I'd sufficient. look at all of the Game Boy. What about let's just start something up at 300? What about that? You happy with that? Sure. Let's do 325. Okay. You happy? All right. Let's do it. All right, man. There you go, man. Appreciate you. All good. Thanks for the cards, man. Yeah, of course. That Appreciate was epic. You. Yeah. Yeah, it was awesome, man. Really cool, bro. Much appreciated. Hope you enjoy them. Will do. Probably some, probably get some treasures in there. Oh, sure. there's a heap. There's a heap. <laughs> Thank you, man. Right, man. See you later. Good. All right. Good safely. <laughs> yeah. This is what I got. No bother, Matthew. First thing I'll show you guys is probably the best, which is all of these. Oh, wow. Are those all hollows? So you got it. The first editions? Yeah, first or? editions. Can I open it? Yep. Let's see what you got here. The Champ Hollow. Oh, dude, that's a really good card, Blastoise. Mewtwo. Oh, they're all the hollows, first edition. Dude, that's insane. The red HP. Oh my dude, gosh. Those are Charizard, bro. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. How much did you pay for this? Keep looking. Dude, it's, it's insane. It's the first edition? It's shadowless, too. Is it or is it really? Yeah. The sh that's the shadow. There's no shadow. Oh, man. Are you going to get this graded? You got yeah, you got to get it graded. <laughs> it's a $20,000 card. The grade's good. Flareon. Jolteon. Oh my gosh.
Are you, what are you going to tell me how much you paid for this? <laughs> After you've had a look at everything that oh I bought? That's just the gosh. first step. I should have stayed. Oh no, then I would have had to fight you. That wouldn't have been any good. Um, I got all of these, which are just base set. Yeah, base sets. See, just I have a lot of these. Yeah. The base sets from the late 90s. So, I have a lot of those. And they're like all three, four dollar cards, some two. So, yeah, it's yeah. all like, I could show you all that. Oh, this one there. Though. I feel like I'm willing to steal this charger and lose him as a friend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did a good run, man. Did a good run. I, I can't you. believe he let a freaking charger out of this car. Right? What, what does that go for raw? What's that go for raw? Like a grand? We could at least a grand. Yeah, maybe 1500 now right, we gotta yeah. guess what you paid. Yeah, the question is, I want the camera on the all of you guys guessing. You know, he, was, he kind of knew his stuff a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna say five, five hundred, but you probably. I also more. think five hundred. I think but, that would be him honestly, thinking he's getting. You could have paid up to two grand and you and still would have been, been okay. Good. Yeah. <laughs> well, what if I say I'll pay less? Oh, Are you serious? Less than five. Yeah. Less uh, than two fifty. Four? You went to the ATM, which means you're yeah, so, get more than so, four. So, yeah. Three hundred. Three twenty-five. Oh my god. Three twenty-five. That's insane. And you just you paid for your trip. Yeah. Oh my gosh. You, you paid, paid for you your house. You got a profit. Yeah. I could not be more ecstatic, guys. This is uh, an unbelievable find, obviously. Um, I think the biggest thing from here is to work out from a grading perspective what I should grade and what I should not grade. I'm going to put a screen grab up here of all of the 27 holographic Pokemon cards that I was able to find in this collection. Uh, there is a lot of base set Pokemon cards that I'm yet to go through. Um, quite a lot, actually, but I don't think there's going to be too much value in there. I think it lies in the 27 cards that you're seeing here. I need to look at the condition to see whether or not I should grade certain cards versus selling them just raw. Um, let me know in the comments if you see any of those 27 Pokemon cards that are worth significant value. Uh, and let me know in the comments because it might help me fast track my grading uh, opportunities. I will say I've got the big three. I've got Charizard, I've got Venusaur, and I've got uh, Blastoise. Those are going to be graded no matter what. I don't think the Charizard that I have, if you have a look at the, the condition that I've got a screen grab of here of the Charizard, I don't think it's a PSA 10. I think that's pretty obvious. I think based on its condition with my limited knowledge around grading, I think it's more like a 4 or a 5 out of 10. So it won't be anywhere near the $12,000 worth of value, but it will be potentially a couple of thousand dollars worth of value once it's graded. Uh, again, it's just pure estimates and I'm not an expert in grading, but there is the potential for that. Um, there is some amazing money in a graded Blastoise. The Blastoise that I have is in great condition and they can sell for four to $5,000. So regardless of where it comes out to or what the wash of it is, there is multiple thousands of dollars in this find and I pay $325 American, which is $500 Australian for anybody that's wondering on the conversion. So my next step is to just go through the grading process, work out what's being graded, what's going to be sold raw. Um, if you want any of the Pokemon cards, um, please let me know on Instagram. Shoot me an, a message. I'm buying so much stuff over here in the States and I want to sell it to you guys. I don't want to list it onto eBay. Um, so let me know and please subscribe to the channel because this is not the end of this Pokemon card find series. I'm going to be going through the grading process in video and then I'm going to be showing you the ultimate sale of these cards as well to let you know what the end result was. I just want to share this experience with you guys and... Uh, I'm, I'm really, really excited about what's to come.